Well, Denver reached 90 degrees for the first time this year yesterday, and it won't be our last. Oh, no. and as Denver 7's Micah Smith found out, some Denver neighborhoods are having trouble staying cool in this heat. Growing up in Denver, we had far too many days of, of hot weather where we could not shield ourselves from it. And Denver native Victor Galvan says he remembers begging his mom to take him to a neighborhood pool to escape that heat. So we have the ground beneath us that is absorbing heat and keeping heat in our in our communities um, and no canopy to actually shield ourselves from it. Galvan recently reviewed a new report from Healthy Air and Water Colorado that found black Coloradans, people making less than $35,000 a year and renters make up the largest percentage of people in Denver without air conditioning. The report also found that neighborhoods of color and low income neighborhoods experience the most extreme heat. For example, just 3% of Denver's Sun Valley neighborhood has a tree canopy, which in turn causes causes temperatures a few degrees higher than other parts of the city. Here in Denver, uh, nine out of the 10 past summers have been the hottest on record. Jim Garcia is the CEO of Tepeyac Community Health Center in Denver's Elyria Swansea neighborhood, one of the most impacted areas for extreme heat. Garcia says a lot of their patients are dealing with chronic diseases. When you compound that or uh, with a, a home that's very uncomfortable uh, because of the heat, that just compounds the, uh, the the chronic disease. Garcia says most patients in the neighborhood can't afford air conditioners. I think yeah, some people might say, well, can they just open up their doors and windows? And here in Gloveville, Elyria, Swansea, that's not really an option because there's you know, when you're talking about really poor air quality. Galvan, who now works for Conservation Colorado's Protegete initiative, says policy change is overdue and government subsidized AC units would certainly help. High Latino um, counties have far more um, uh, heat emergency room visits from um, and three times more heat emergency room visits than uh, their white counterparts. Galvan says everyone deserves a cool home, not out of comfort, but out of necessity. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.